told the two officers who were shot are expected to be okay. Now, it all happened here at the Ardsley Acres Motel. Police say when officers approached for that drug raid, the suspect exited his room and opened fire. Now, it appears to be quiet here right now, but we've been watching police go in and out of this parking lot all morning. We have shots fired down at the Ardsley Acres Motel. It was like, dun, 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 and then it stopped. And all of a sudden, not even five minutes later, every police car in Ardsley is driving by and stopping right in front of my house. The sound of a heavy exchange of gunfire and the sight of police startled those who live near the Ardsley Acres Motel and others who are staying there. I just heard a lot of gunshots and um, the cops are telling us to run. Um, they evacuated a few of us out of our room. Around 1030 last night, the FBI was conducting a drug raid at the motel, backed by numerous agencies, including Ardsley police. As the officers uh, approached the motel, a uh, suspect came out of the room and uh, engaged the officers in gunfire. Um, multiple shots were exchanged between the officers and the suspect. The Ardsley police chief says the 43-year-old male suspect was shot and killed. Two officers who were assisting the FBI in the raid were also struck. It's not clear if they were shot by the suspect or friendly fire. They were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Witnesses describe a significant response with ambulances and dozens of police cars at the motel on Sawmill River Road. The highway was blocked, so we came around and then we saw FBI agents coming through. 20, 30 cop cars that I saw here. I feel like nothing really happens here. It's a small community. It's a quiet, nice, safe town. Police say they do not have problems at this motel and want to send a clear message to the community. The scene is safe. The village is safe. It's not clear if drugs were recovered, but there were weapons at the scene, according to police, which are now being processed by the FBI, and the agency is taking over the investigation. We're live in Ardsley, New York. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News.